Um, we have a state representative, Jake Andreg, who just unendorsed you at the Trump rally. Are you afraid that more Republicans are going to go home? Well, I would say that going home doesn't involve going back towards Donald Trump. We're, we're the, if you're a conservative, we're the only conservative ticket in the race. Uh, we believe in limited government. We believe in upholding the Constitution. We believe in all, that all men and women are created equal and into the cause of liberty. And, and that's what we're fighting for. So that is not what the Republican nominee is fighting for this year, unfortunately. That's why we're in the race. Uh, and that's what we stand for. Going home is not going to Donald Trump. It's remaining committed to the foundational principles that have made this country the most powerful and prosperous on earth. Do you intend to uh, focus on Utah for the last uh, seven days, or do you plan to travel out of state? Yeah, I mean, we are we are focused here. We have a really good shot of winning this state, and the polls were tied or leading. And then people in Utah rejected Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump in the primaries, and so they are seeking a true conservative in this race, and that's why they're gravitating towards us. We have a lot of support in the Mountain West generally, and across the country, millions of people who are stepping up across the country. Uh, but given the limited time that we have, we're going to be putting a lot of focus here all the way to Election Day. Ben Hoyle from The Times. You've said uh, that it's very clear for some time that Mr. Putin controls Mr. Trump and has very <laughs> strong influence over Mr. Trump. In the light of recent uh, revelations, I wondered if you could say a bit more about that. Well, I just think the, the more we learn about Donald Trump and his relationship with Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin and Russian oligarchs and banks, the more we understand that there's a, an unhealthy and even dangerous relationship uh, between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. I think we should be very concerned. I think this is something that has been covered in the media, but there hasn't been enough coverage, I think. I think uh, Republicans in the House have, uh, have reportedly stood against investigations of Donald Trump's relationship to Vladimir Putin. I know that there are members uh, of Republican leadership who uh, believe that Donald Trump is controlled by the Russians. Some of them are still supporting Donald Trump, amazingly. Uh, but this is, this is emblematic of the larger crisis that we have, uh, this crisis of leadership in this country, where our two major party candidates are deeply corrupt, deeply self-serving, and in the case of Donald Trump, co-opted by, uh, by a, a Russian authoritarian who is uh, perhaps uh, one of the largest sources of instability and, and even human suffering in the world. And this is somebody, this is the Republican nominee. It's absolutely unacceptable that the Republican Party would continue to stand with somebody who so threatens our national security through his relationships and admiration for dictators or, and authoritarians such as Vladimir Putin. So to be clear, you, you believe he is co-opted and controlled from the crowd? I would say co-opted. Controlled is, is sort of is a, a word that implies a total, you know, it's a, sort of an absolute word. But I think that, that Donald Trump is uh, has been co-opted willingly uh, by Vladimir Putin.